Boom, it's recording. Hey, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for downloading the plugin. I've had an overwhelming amount of feedback, mostly positive, um, and I'm really happy about it. Um, if you guys have any other questions or comments, hit me up on Twitter. That's the fastest way, or you can leave a comment below. I'll hopefully find it sooner rather than later. But some of the people were asking me, um, probably the most requested thing was how to change colors, how to edit the way it looks. And as you can see here, I went in and I modified um, the CSS. Uh, if you don't know how to edit CSS, there's some great tutorials out there, so just Google it. Um, what we can do with this, because WordPress makes it very simple, is actually go to the Customize the Theme section. Every um, theme on WordPress has this option. So when you go to click Customize, there's a field called additional CSS. As you can see, I've added additional CSS and it's modified it. Now, the way this uh, plugin loads, um, it loads the, the CSS for it through, um, through the JavaScript. And so what you'll need to do is when you make a change, you have to add this exclamation point important part because without it, you'll see that it keeps the old formatting. So you take one of the sections, you change a color, for example, like that pink button, and you make it, uh, you make it that way, basically. You make you make it important, and it will override any uh, CSS when you make it important. Now, I'll actually go in now and show you how I found this stuff and how I did this. Um, where you can find like the, the names of the elements and stuff. If you're not an expert like me, it took me a few minutes to, to figure it out because I don't do this that often. So now we're back to normal. Now I use uh, something that in Chrome lets you inspect the different elements on a page. Firefox has a similar feature. Brave is built on the same uh, system as Chrome, so you, you should have that as well. But um, if you are using something different, I would check out uh, Chrome, it's the easiest way in my opinion. Now what you can do is you click on this little button right here to inspect different elements on the thing on the page. And for example, here's the button. I'm just gonna make it because it, it's the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm going to go and grab the whole code for the CSS of that button. This is it, dot ant dash btn dash primary. And I'm gonna paste it in here. Now, I'll also go over here really quick and change the background color from blue to something really noticeable, say like this red color, um, and put it in there. Now, if I go and click that red color and put it in there, nothing happens. Uh, but remember what I said, all you have to do is go exclamation point, important, and then boom, it should change it. Apparently not. What did I do? Border color, uh, important. Oh, there it is. Uh, I put background dash color. What it should be is uh, is just background, I think. Boom, there it is. So you'll have to notice that some things override um, the different element styles. So you'll have to figure out your CSS, learn and understand it. But it's really, really fairly simple. Now, once you publish this and go back to your site, it will be read. Because of that little snafu and the little Q&A it takes to uh, get it done and my unprofessionalism of not wanting to record a new uh, tutorial, I will inspect another element and let's change the colors to, to see how it looks or to do something. So here's something, the sell and buy text. As you can see here, here's the style text for that one. You can see that it's gray right there down below. I'm gonna copy that. I'll give it some custom style. Let's make it that same red color. So you know, we we added that that color red and the important tag. I'm gonna do that to this too, and let's see if that works. Boom. And now you notice the font size is 12. Let's say we love having this on our site. We want it to be bigger. We want it to be smaller. Let's go in and just go uh, font size 24. Let's double it. And remember, we have to add the important tag. Now we add the important tag, and oh, I should learn to spell important. Boom. Now it's red. Buy and sell is big. I hit publish, and now I can go to my WordPress site, go to the main area, 
And as you'll see, we've made the changes and it exists. Now, there are some WordPress plugins out there that let you do custom CSS. Oh, something you gotta remember, you always have to refresh your cache if you have some kind of caching plugin that, uh, that caches your site. So there we go, we changed it anywhere now where this is loaded on our website, it will be changed and that is that. So, but remember what I was saying is on individual pages, you can have custom CSS on your whole site like we just did, you can do custom CSS and play with it, make some modifications. I did some basic stuff right now because I'm not an expert, I'm not gonna claim to be. You do some stuff, anything really creative you do, please send to me, share it at Alon Gorin on Twitter and I will share it with the community. Thanks everyone.